Hey guys, uh, this is Fluky here. Um, I'm just gonna do this thing as I got uh, 300 subs quite recently. Um, I thought I might just uh, do a tutorial on how to do this um, effect uh, with metal balls around the edge. Um, it's really easy once you're used to it, it's not complicated at all. Um, I'm gonna show you two ways actually. I'm gonna show you first how to do the like the metal balls in the middle, just these random ones. And then the ones that go around this around this logo. So what it looks good on uh, round logos like uh, DZ and Dare and Zoo and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna merge uh, an AI, and uh, I think I'll bring in the DZ or Dare logo. Uh, just see what I got. I think I'll just go with the dare one, seeing as it's easy. Let's just Let's see there. Okay, let's bring up the center. And just add nerves like normal. And yeah, and then just make them whatever. I'm gonna do what I'd normally do and just uh, just make them grey, and then make these with fellow caps. All right, let's group them. Might just make it a little bit thicker as well. Oh, maybe a little less than that. Okay, so we got just the basic logo. So what effect I'm going to do? I think if I try and quickly find the original render, I had just I had um, balls just going around the outside, which you may not be able to see on this because it's right it's right zoomed up. I can't be able to find the original render, but it, it was going all the way around the outside. Um, right, so actually yeah, I'll do that first. Um, so what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to create a shape. I'm going to go with a circle. Uh, maybe make it a little bit smaller. Just go with 50 radius instead. I'm going to up this a little bit just to make it look more round. Um, I'm just going to go to MoGraph and then go to Clona, I think, yeah. And as you see, I do this at first. Oh wait, no, this is the other way. This is, this is the random one. I'll just do this one first. Yeah, so he's gone to cloner and go on to mode and go on to grid array. And the way I like to judge this is I like to make sure they're just touching like this. Uh, once done that, I'm just going to bring in the meta ball, bring the cloner into the meta ball, and as you'll see, it just go really big. Um, in the subdivision editor, I normally make it about seven, but your computer might not be able to take that. And normally, I just mess around with these, so you just want it to be smaller. Um, with this, I just want them just to be touching, so the gloopy bits a little bit. So I just put the whole value at about uh, 400, and the edit subdivision on this on 7. Uh, once you've done that, open up the metaball, click on the cloner, go to MoGraph, go to Effector, and then go to Random. And it will just throw them all over the place. Um, once you've done this, just go to uh, there you go, go to Scale here and check that. Check Uniform Scale, and then just do whatever you want with it. Um, once you've done that, you can. I like to just put them, uh, that in so it's all as one. Uh, and then just mess around with the size of it. Just drag it in. Like so. And you could have, just have uh, certain metables, like certain ones just poke, poking out like that. Um, if you want to make this a colour, just drag the colour you want just onto the metable itself. Like so. Alright, and, and you can uh, make. you can just copy and paste that and if you want to change it just so say I uh, made it a little bit smaller like this and I just put that there and say I wanted another one I could just copy and paste and if you didn't want exactly the same one you can just go on to random and then go on to effector and just change the seed like that and you'll have a different uh, like different like randomness if that makes sense so they'll be in a different place. All right. Once you've done that, um, now I'm going to show you how to do the ones around the edge. Uh, for this, once again, you just create a circle or a sphere. Just 
out that again to about 50, make this a little bit smaller. Um, then you go into the same place you'll find Metaball and you click on Array. And you can drag this into Array. Uh, the first thing I'll do on this is just make it go around like that. And just make it 90 degrees basically in the here. Uh, then I'll make the array a bit smaller and like that. And I just straight always put um, that into a metable. And you'll see I just have to do this uh, 407 or whatever. Or maybe not. Um, there you go, you can just mess around with the whole value until. I just do it just so they're just touching. And as you'll see, you can just put these around the outside of the logo, like that. And as you'll see on, I'll show you this one again, I have like bi uh, bigger, then smaller, then bigger, then smaller, going around the outside. And to do this, I just copy and paste ar the array. I put it back inside the metable. I think I dragged it either, I either dragged it out or in a little bit. But with this one, I'm just going to drag it out, and I'm going to select the sphere, and to make it a little bit smaller. And as you'll see, it would just be a massive gloop at this point. So you might want to make both spheres a bit smaller. They go like this. Uh, just grab the that array. And just drag it out. All right. So, and then also, yeah, you definitely have to spin it just a little bit like that, so you can see them in between. Um, actually, I'm going to switch these two around. So I'm just going to put that one there. And then as you'll see, if I drag this one out like this, they'll still be touch like that, but it'll make that sort of effect. If I make this a little bit bigger, so it fits around the Dare logo, like so, it just gives a nice effect. Um, it's just, it's, I just came up with it just on my own, just uh, playing around with it. Um, you can try your own thing with it, I don't see why not. Just uh, keep on messing around with whatever, and just going to use drag the colour on, like that. You just got it going around the edge. Um, I'll just do a quick render for you guys, just so you can see how this turns out. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, as you can see, the render's done. Um, it's just around the edge like that, you can just see. And if you want to, you can just completely copy me by just putting uh, the links on the things. As uh, The middle bit isn't really similar. I hate how it does that. Um, how it, like, comes on top, so you, I, if I was you, I just kind of want to get just uh, one or two circles just outside, maybe a couple with neck to make it look a lot better. But yeah, um, if you have any other tutorial suggestions or anything you want, uh, feel free just to uh, either comment or if you know me, just message me on Skype, or if for some reason you didn't want to comment, just send me a message on YouTube. And yeah, hopefully I'll keep on continuing, uh, continuing my uh, basic GFX TUT series. Because I've kind of had a massive break from it. Um, I don't know why I just can't be bothered. So, yeah. Um, hope you enjoyed this, guys. Uh, see you again soon.